6.10b. Classifying Rocks. In this activity, students study igneous rocks and model various rock formations that result from the processes of deposition, compaction and cementation, and heat and pressure. Modeling Formations in Igneous Rocks. When ordering rock specimens from the Scientific Supply House, be sure to request banded sandstone and foliated metamorphic rock. As a primer to the exercise, print out the picture of ice cream crystals scanned by an electron microscope. Discuss how the grainy texture provides a clue to how igneous rocks form. Use a magnifying glass to study the three rock specimens. Students will notice very large crystals in granite because it cools so slowly, as opposed to obsidian, which cools so quickly that crystals do not form. The smaller crystals of rhyolite will also be visible under the lens. Order the igneous rocks by the speed at which they cooled, from slowest to fastest. Record these observations in the student journal. For the first rock formation, we'll model the process of deposition. Tear off sedimentary pieces of different sizes from each ball of clay and form three separate colored piles. Ask your class what causes the rocks to weather. Next, combine the clay piles by adding one layer of color at a time. Now press the model together to simulate the heat and pressure that causes compaction and cementation of sedimentary layers. Use a plastic knife to cut the clay into three individual rock pieces and observe the banded pattern of each cross-section. Compare these to the real sample of sedimentary sandstone, one containing similar strata. As a final transformation, apply additional heat and pressure. Vigorously warm the hands together for 10 seconds and in one smooth motion, slowly press and push the sedimentary rock model to blend and change its appearance. Monitor the student's zeal while they manipulate the clay in order to control the experiment. Compare the stretched foliation of the clay model to that of the real foliated specimen of metamorphic rock. In summary, remind students that the process of rock formation takes millions of years and does not necessarily happen linearly. Ask your class to imagine how metamorphic rock might become sedimentary rock. Use the student journal to model ideas and complete the questions in reflections and conclusions.